the third episode of uh, an honest review with the Toronto guys. So today we have um, Dirty Bird. I'll show you guys their logo. Dirty Bird uh, chicken and waffles. Yeah. We skip the waffles. Six piece combo. Yep. Six piece combo with fried and potato salad. Yep. Pairing with that is a IPA called Tisha IPA from Kensington Brewery uh, Brewing Co. Located almost right beside the Dirty Bird in Kensington Market. So this is a West Coast uh, IPA, so it should have citrusy, uh, citrusy flavor to it. Uh, we'll see how bitter it is. I do see some uh, yeast residue floating around in the beer, so that means it was this bottle, uh, bottle fermenting a little bit over there. Nice. Um, yeah, it does smell what I would expect a West Coast IPA to smell like, mm. very citrusy. Hmm. You know what the idea is on this? Uh, can you guess? Like, I guess it'd probably be somewhere around 50 to 60 maybe. It's not as bitter as something like Bone Shaker or Fracture, but nice. color-wise, kind of orangey, orange opaque. It's like, it's very fresh. That's what I, that's what I get from this. Mm. You can open the big one, I'll yep. open the little one. So, let's see. It's oh, it's nice packaging. Yeah, I like it. Pretty, very sturdy. Yeah, uh, yeah. Put, some, put something on top of there. I think two ties and four legs. Also on this box was a potato salad. I think it comes with two sides. Yep. Uh, six piece combo. With yeah, two sides. six piece combo with two sides. All right, so, but they call it the potato salad, like T-A-T-O. Yep, that's my dog in the back. It wants a dirty bird as well. Alright, another thing to note is the beer is 6.5%. So, quote unquote, strong beer. Like if you were LCB, I'll say strong beer. Yep. Alright, we're going full Indian here. Let's see. So right off the bat, it looks a bit oilier. A darker, say, dark. It's pretty good, like, <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. It's definitely oily, like my hands are completely full of like this glaze of oil, but um, it's pretty good. They have a noticeable, Sweetness to the breading, or mm -hmm. almost like cinnamon. Mm -hmm. If you got that, it's like I would say it's more flavorful than KFC, but way less flavorful than Popeyes. What do you yeah. think? Because like Popeyes had like a um, almost like a unique Cajun Southern kind of like a punch of flavor. Yeah. Um, this doesn't have that. Well, that being said, like the breading is crunchy. Like yeah. it's, it's very very crunchy. Mm -hmm. See it going well with what it's intended to go with the waffle. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay, so my leg benchmark is obviously Popeyes. Like you saw in the last video, it's it was amazing, like really, really good. But that being said, this is really good too. Like I wouldn't say it's better than Popeyes. It's still solid. We'll do the full rating later on. Uh, we're still like trying to eat, take a few more bites, yeah. more samples, more data points. But uh, so far, it's definitely solid. I would say it's definitely better than KFC right away. Yeah, 
definitely like the leg piece better than the thigh. One thing that you might be concerned with is that this is, uh, chicken definitely is more pinkish, right? When you bite into it, but we're pretty sure they're not trying to kill us, like... And if they are, we'll do a follow-up quick video uh, telling you <laughs> if we're still alive or not. Yeah, flavor-wise, I think Popeyes would win. Yeah. Um, whatever they mix into their breading would work for something sweet. Mm -hmm. like yeah, a for sure. Like, I think this is made for a waffle, man. Yeah. It would be so good. Which is their staple. Mm -hmm. Alright, so I'm going to try the yeah. actual chicken with the sauce. The sauce. Okay. Um, it's called the Dirty, Dirty Bird Sauce. It's like a sweet, sweet heat, like uh, sweet and spicy sauce, yeah. No, yeah. this was spicy. Mm -hmm. so. Not at all. Like usually, I will start sweating if it's actually spicy. All right, so we're gonna go for the uh, fries and see how that compares. Yeah, the fries are definitely mm -hmm. the least soggiest out of the. Yeah, how did they do that? Places so far, they're so wow. It's in the saltiest. Probably. Mm, yeah. This is good for people that like they want fried chicken, but they don't want it as bland as KFC, to be honest. Yeah. Um, and they want this to be something like like for breakfast, right? Like breakfast, you don't want something too spicy. Yeah, so you, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go for Popeyes. A Cajun hot. Yeah, exactly. Here. All right, the potato salad. It's actually pretty good. I like it. Like, yeah. wow. Damn, that's surprisingly good. You know what? That actually might be like the fa favorite thing from here. Like, it's so good. Yeah, oh man, well, yeah. yeah. Similar amount of food from KFC and uh, from Popeyes was around between twenty-two and thirty-five dollars, yep. right? And this was twenty-eight dollars. I remember it was like 20, 28, 23 plus tax packs, and everything, so yeah, right. 20, 28 packs. 28. So, um, for, yeah, so we got six pieces, six right. sides, and, and the beer was uh, about five dollars for a five milliliter bottle. Which is pretty good, I mean. Yeah. So, in terms of chicken, you get four leg pieces and two thigh pieces. Uh, one thigh is more than enough, like I would rather just stick to legs. If they had all legs, I would do all legs. Yeah. Um, fries? Excellent. Um, I think fries is a really good side to go with, uh, and potato salad. I definitely get the potato salad. Like it's it's a must. Dirty bird sauce. Eh, it's something different, right? Like it's it's not bad. Yeah. It's, whether or not you you can you like a, a sweet sauce too. Exactly. Uh, okay. So ratings. Um, I'd probably give the, the fried chicken. Seven, seven and a half. So 7.25. Yeah, probably 7.25. <laughs> 7 on, on that scale. But. Yeah, like I'm, I have to go with him as well. Like, but I'm on the lower end. I would give it a seven. Yeah. For the fries, I would actually give it a nice eight because I like them. Like, I feel like these fries would be perfect to do like a poutine or something like that. Like, yeah. I don't know. They're so nice and crunchy. Like they can they can handle anything. So I think they do this thing called dirty fries. Maybe we can try that next time. But for the potato salad, I think it's a nine out of 10. Like it's so it's good. Up there, yeah. it's, it's so good. We um, haven't had a, a potato salad size before, but. Yeah. Just. So overall, out of 10. So I'd say the sides win out, yeah. of, out, of, the, out of KFC and Popeyes. Mm -hmm. uh, chicken kinda. It's good, I mean. It's, it's, it's not, nothing special. Yeah. We had Popeyes chicken and. Oh, the sides. Food. I think that's like the benchmark, right? Yeah. For, a good mixture. Yeah. Um, um, that being said, this wasn't their staple item. Mm -hmm. we, didn't, we didn't get the uh, right full disclosure the waffle and, uh, and chicken combo. Mm -hmm. which is what they're they're known for, but with maple syrup on top. Um, uh, so overall, for me, I would give this a solid seven point five. Like the potato salad just made the rating go way higher. Seven point five out of ten is pretty good compared. Yep. To like you're not paying like an exorbitant amount of money. It's only like twenty eight bucks, right? Yeah. Um, it's on the same price point as Popeyes and mm -hmm. KFC for the amount of food you're getting. So yeah. and it's a local business. And it's a local business, right? So support yeah. local businesses. And uh, the beer complements it nicely. It's not yeah. it's not a sweet beer, so mm. it's good that we're not having a sweet beer with sweet food. But yeah.
So uh, yeah, that's basically our review of Dirty Bird from uh, Toronto. In Kensington. In Kensington Market. We were debating between this and PG Clux today. Yes. Uh, one of our friends like, really wanted to do PG Clux. We couldn't do it today. We just wanted to try something new. So next week, or the week after, we'll definitely do PG Clux. PG Clux, the there's still um, the, the White Brick Kitchen also oh, that we gotta do. So White Brick Kitchen, I'm, I'm a bit biased because uh, I've been there two years ago, and then I've, I've been there again a year ago and a few months ago, and it's consistently been really good. So if not the best, like one of the best uh, fried chicken joints in Toronto. So I'm definitely looking forward to that, but next week, next time it's going to be PG Clux. PG Clux, upcoming is going to be KFC in Germany. Oh, that's going to be a special because we're going to KFC in uh, April 5th, April 7th? Yeah, that weekend, right? April yeah. 5th to 9th. Yeah, we'll be in Germany. Yeah, and uh, we're definitely gonna do a KFC or some other fried chicken. Like we really want to do KFC, but if we can make it to KFC, it'll be some other fried Hopefully chicken. Hopefully, a local German fried chicken place. That, maybe. That'd be interesting. Yeah, get fried chicken with a sausage. But uh, anyways, and our special guest who was whining throughout this video is my dog right here. Yeah. So that's Pepper. Pepper is dying for some fried chicken because she she hates her own food. She's been eating the same thing for the past, I don't know, how many years. Uh, actually, she's only been born for a year and a half, so yeah. a year and a half. You can't eat it, because it's oily and breaded. So, anyways, thanks for watching. See you next video.